What's up, Clashers? Today we're talking Town Hall 11 base designs, the secret sauce to winning wars, saving loot, and climbing trophies. Whether you're farming for loot or aiming for war domination, we've got your back with the best war, trophy, hybrid, and farming bases in the game. Stick around because I'll also share tips that'll make your enemies wish they never pressed attack. Let's get started. War bases are all about defense making sure attackers waste their spells, troops, and time. A great Town Hall 11 warbase should have an anti-three-star layout by using compartments to spread out defenses and keep your eagle artillery deep in the base. Place traps strategically to funnel troops into spring traps and hide Teslas near high-value defenses. For anti-air protection, use air sweepers and air defenses to counter electro dragons. A proven warbase design link is in the description. Trust me, your clanmates will thank you. Next up, trophy bases. If you're climbing through Crystal, Master, or Champion League, focus on keeping your town hall centralized and guard it with high damage defenses like Infernos and Expos. Create a strong outer layer using walls and defenses to slow attackers. Place air bombs and seeking air mines near healer zones to defend against queen walks. Remember, don't stack your resources near your town hall. You'll lose trophies and loot at the same time. For all the loot hunters, farming bases are designed to protect resources. Spread out storages so attackers can't take all your loot in one go. Bait attackers into traps by placing them near full collectors. Let attackers take the town hall for an easy shield while your loot stays safe. If you want a great farming base design, check the description. Finally, hybrid bases are perfect if you want to protect both your loot and trophies. A solid hybrid base keeps the town hall well guarded but not too centralized. Spread out infernos, expos, and air defenses for all-around protection. Always keep your clan castle full of defensive troops to wreck attackers. If you want a hybrid base, check the link in the description for a pro design. Before we wrap this up, here are some quick tips for Town Hall 11 in 2024. Queen Walk and Bowlers are still meta so build bases to counter them. Use traps wisely. A tornado trap can mess up entire electro dragon attacks. Upgrade walls to level 11 or higher, it makes a huge difference. Focus on upgrading heroes, especially the archer queen. And remember, a rushed base is a sad base. Max out your defenses and troops before upgrading to Town Hall 12. That's it for today's breakdown of the best Town Hall 11 base designs. Hit the like button if you learned something new and comment with your favorite base design. Links for base designs are in the description. Hey, Clashers! If you're still with me, let's dive deeper into mastering Town Hall 11 base designs. Beyond just picking the right base layout, there's a lot more to making your village a nightmare for attackers. From understanding attack strategies to optimizing traps, here's everything you need to know to become a true Town Hall 11 Pro. First, Let's talk about attack trends. Right now, queen walks combined with bowlers or miners are some of the most popular strategies in the game. Why does this matter for your base design? Because your goal should be to waste as much of the attacker's time and resources as possible. To counter queen walks, place defenses like air bombs and seeking air mines around your archer towers and air defenses. These will take down the healers, which are critical to keeping the queen alive. For bowlers, use multi-target inferno towers and double-layered walls to break their momentum. And don't forget spring traps, they're small but mighty. For trophy bases, you can step up your game by incorporating deceptive layouts. A popular trick is to create dead zones, empty spaces inside the base that confuse pathing for enemy troops. This works especially well against spam attacks like mass hog riders or balloons, as they'll struggle to target defenses in an efficient way. Another trick. Place skeleton traps near high-value targets like your town hall or eagle artillery. Skeletons might not seem like much, but they can delay heroes like the archer queen long enough for your defenses to finish the job. Let's move to farming strategies. Here's something not everyone thinks about. Your base can also influence the types of attackers you attract. If your goal is to protect dark elixir, design your base to look like it's all about protecting gold and elixir instead. Put some of your elixir storages near the edges of your base to bait attackers into an easy raid, while hiding your dark elixir storage deep in the core with multiple layers of protection. This way, casual looters will leave with nothing but pocket change, 
while your real loot stays untouched. For hybrid bases, consider adding flexibility to your clan castle troops. A Lava Hound is great for distracting air attackers like balloons, but if ground spam is more common in your league, switch to defensive troops like Valkyries or Ice Golems. The best hybrid bases are adaptable. What worked last month might not work today, so always analyze the kinds of attacks you're facing and adjust accordingly. Now let's discuss some hidden gems for Town Hall 11 defense. First up, the Tornado Trap. While most players place it near the Town Hall, a sneaky alternative is placing it near your Eagle Artillery. Why? Because most attackers save their big troops for the Eagle, and a well-placed Tornado Trap can clump them together, leaving them vulnerable to splash damage from your Wizard Towers and Bomb Towers. Another underappreciated defense is the X-Bow setting. Many players default to ground-only mode, but consider setting at least one X-Bow to air and ground. This extra layer of anti-air coverage can be a game-changer when dealing with attacks like Lava Loon or Dragons. One more tip, don't underestimate the value of walls. Sure, they don't deal damage, but properly upgraded walls force attackers to waste precious seconds. At Town Hall 11, time is often the deciding factor in whether a raid gets a 3-star or fails at 85%. Use walls to compartmentalize your base and force troops like Pekkas and Giants to take long, inefficient paths. Finally, here's something for all you perfectionists. If you're serious about dominating at Town Hall 11, regularly test your base in friendly challenges. Ask your clanmates to use the meta attack strategies on your layout and see where it breaks down. This way, you can fine-tune every detail, like trap placement and defense spacing, until your base is nearly unstoppable. 